we're back and we're back with something different. All electric. Mercedes-Benz EQA. John, a lot's been said about electric vehicles. We've heard global audiences talk about the pluses and the, the minuses, uh, the negatives, positives of having an electric vehicle. Mercedes' entry-level offering in this space is quite special. Yeah, it's a competitive category that they're going into. And I mean, like we spoke about, Mercedes is really putting a lot of effort into going full electric. Yeah. Um, this EQA is actually quite special in the fact that it's very aerodynamic. Yeah. You know, we'll take you around the car and I'll show you some of the features. You know, I did a little bit of research last night. Yeah, so as you can see from the interior, Ryan, it's all about efficiencies with electric cars, yeah. you know, in the aero. If you look here, they all got these beautiful light bars yes. that run across. And that's one thing I like about electric cars at yeah. the moment, is they're quite daring with their, their lights and their LED lights. Also what I like is they've got this like bluish green light that comes on here. As you can see here, not your normal grill that they'll have, so there's no airflow coming in being electric. Remember, this is the base model of yeah. the GLA. Got you. Taking the engine out, put electric in, so batteries all run underneath the car, um, and everything's all sleek, you know. You can even see the aerodynamics that they've done on the wheels to get the airflow to run through. Got you. So, um, you know, and then the EQA name, I almost feel like it brings that Very subtle, class. very just subtle over there, EQA you know, at the back of the vehicle typical, as well. Coming from the back of the car, if we have a look here, Obviously, typical Mercedes with the chrome bits. Yeah. Lovely chrome finishing. What they did here, if you take a look, so normally the Mercedes bag is on top. Up here. Yeah. They've had to move it down because, again, they've got this beautiful light bar running around the back. It's stunning. Pretty, obviously, now during the daytime, you can't see it, but at night, this really lights up and looks spectacular. Um, very nice uh, looking car, nice and compact. One of the things that you do give up is obviously a little bit of boot space. Sure. The batteries because. Okay, my box of wine's in there. Oh, nice. Because one can't drive without a box of wine in the back there. That's no. just an empty box. Exactly. But you can see, nice space, so yeah. you're not compromising yeah. too much, but obviously yeah. with the batteries, it lifts the floor up. Yes, you got know, you. Because you've got the batteries running from the back to the front. So, um, but more than enough space to put your golf clubs in, your Actually, you can, put, you can put two sets of clubs in there. Yeah, so plenty of space. If we take a look at the interior of the car, also not too bad when it comes to legroom, but something you'll notice, Ryan, is because the floor has been lifted, you can see you know, quite a lot of space underneath. Again, you know, they got the really nice Alcantara suede in the car, which I really like. Some of the nice features, the air ducts. I see they got one USB port at the back, but yeah, I'm feeling quite comfy. A lot of legroom here. Amazing. So, uh, John, the important question is how does, does this baby drive on the road? You get behind the wheel, take us for a little drive around and talk to us about the driving experience of Mercedes-Benz's EQA. Right, John, we're in the car, safety belts on, as we do all the time. Yes, we do. Safety and first. The one thing about this vehicle is just obviously it's electric, so it's dead quiet. You pull away, you don't hear a thing, don't see a thing. <laughs> Typical Mercedes Benz layout, you get exactly the same layout that you'd get in any uh, uh, Mercedes Benz. It's very familiar to a Mercedes Benz driver, um, but dead quiet. This is actually the perfect car the morning after a late night out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a different kind of uh, drive and sensation, you know. It's something that uh, people, some people love, some people don't. Yeah. Uh, I think for city driving, I quite enjoy this car, you know, for sure. this type of environment. It's yeah. perfect to nip around from coffee shop to meeting and, uh, yeah. you know, wherever you need to go. Um, I haven't driven any of these electric cars on a long distance drive. Sure. As you know, I've driven a lot of EV cars Correct. over the last couple of years. Some prototypes, some of them were really the first cars manufactured. So I've got a good feel for what electric cars should drive and feel like. And uh, yeah. so far, I mean, the seating position in yeah. this car is really nice. Yeah. You've got good visual um, presence from inside here. Yeah, you can see out really nicely. And obviously they've got the sunroofs. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, look, typical Mercedes, very nicely finished inside. Very comfortable place, this car. Um, and yeah, this thing, I see they got paddle shifts on here, but uh, I know these cars don't have gears, so I'm not sure if this has got something to do with the regeneration of the energy, you know, when you. You, when you slow down. I know yeah. also sometimes with the electric cars, the braking gets takes a bit of time to get used to. Yes. But, you know, standing on these brakes, they actually feel really good. And the car slows down really nicely. It's not yeah. like some of them where they really slow down when you take your foot off the throttle, Correct. they th sort of slow down too fast. Yes. This has got a nice, well, I mean, but it's like quite, quite relaxing driving. Very this relaxing. Car. The cabin's a nice place to be. I mean, you talk about that comfort that you'd expect from Mercedes Benz, but also there's, they've got that noise. They, they realize that it's an e uh, electric vehicle and they've capitalized on the fact that you want the cabin to be a quiet place. So you don't hear that outside noise at all because uh, the loudest part of electric vehicles normally the, the sound of the wind going past or yeah. other motoring or other cars around you. This is dead quiet in the cabin. Yeah, it's like a quite a 
tranquil experience, you know. I mean, Very I can imagine so. like driving along the coastline must be quite, quite nice, you know. Windows um, open, sunroof open, cruising. just listening to the the, the the ocean. And I know the electric cars are getting much better in terms of their range. I think this yeah. gets close to 400 kilometers. Yes. I know when they initially came out, they were really struggling to get over 100. Yeah. But I think at about four, five hundred kilometers is really decent. Yeah. Um, you can feel this has got good torque. Oh. I mean, obviously it's not a. Yeah. It's not a supercar, but um, got good torque. I think just shy of 400 newton meters. So um, <laughs> it's a lot, and that's the For thing with these electric cars. Entry level Mercedes yeah. Benz electric vehicle. This is unbelievable. It's actually like so quiet here that that ping in the background was a text message <laughs> coming through to my phone that just echoed inside this cabin because it's so quiet. Lovely ride. The dynamics in terms of getting the ride right is something the Mercedes-Benz really have worked hard at uh, to get the, the feel of a petrol vehicle in the space of um, in, the, in, the, in the space of where that engine should be. <laughs> yeah, they got the, but I mean, that's exactly what you're saying. You can feel there's not a lot of body roll in this car because yeah. they're able to distribute the batteries quite yes. evenly yeah. from front to back. So the cars are very well balanced electric cars. Yeah. And you can you feel the regeneration when you come off? Correct. You feel it automatically. automatically. You don't uh, even have to brake. Look here, I'm going through uh, the corner. And, and I love how they've set the dials up so so you can actually see how much you re, re, you're uh, regenerating. And you can obviously configure the display as you, as you want, but that's set up in a way that almost is quite entertaining because you can yeah. watch at any given time to see what kind of Let's power you're putting back. Let's do a little acceleration back. test, yeah. Oh, not too shabby. Yeah, not too bad, eh? I tell you what, it will drop a lot of cars. <laughs> yeah. You will drop a lot of cars in this vehicle. Acceleration is very impressive. And I mean, we everybody speaks about, you know, obviously the, the, the issues that we have around electricity and things like that. But yeah. I mean, it's you plan around it like we like we do as South Africans. Absolutely. But you know, it's not people going, ah, oh, can you own an electric car? We've got no electricity. But I mean, these modern cars now charge quite quickly, especially Spot at on. these fast charge points. So, yeah. You know, you plan your trip around a coffee or around going to the shop, plug it in, go do yeah. your groceries, come back, and generally it uh, will get you enough charge to get you where you need to be. So I don't think it's a problem, but there are definitely more electric points being uh, put out now into the, sure. the country. So yeah. they're more available. Yeah. Um, and I think these uh, cars you can actually put into the, the system and it'll actually find you plug points you along your route yeah. which is quite nice quite, you know yeah so you can and it actually plans your route for you where you can uh, charge the battery so that's quite cool overall john your impressions of this vehicle spending a bit of time in it something that you'd uh, consider to uh, to add to the uh, to the family yeah i think it's uh, yeah as a city driver i think it's definitely something i would add um in terms of typical mercedes comfort luxury i mean you can just see the finishes on this car spectacular yeah really drives nicely nice and comfortable i mean we've been over a few bumps and dips and the car handles it really nicely obviously for me i like it a little bit more performance but uh i think this is a good middle of the road type performance for everybody you know Absolutely. it's like a car for the masses so they're yeah. really clever where they're positioning this because not everybody wants to feel like they're in a jet when they're just driving around so i mean yeah but like i say this car really drives nicely as you can see we been through a few roundabouts and you know tight squeezes and tight yeah. corners yeah and the car handles it well so no i'm very impressed um and i think yeah it's the future like i say all these manufacturers are going this route so we've got to kind of get used to it um yeah. because yeah this is i suppose the, the future for now folks this is the future and if you've uh, enjoyed our chat on the eqa like subscribe give us the thumbs up and importantly we'll catch you again next week with another episode on carpet